hello guys welcome back to the channel this is clary farms um, and today i want to teach how to install drip irrigation systems from scratch um, in smart way um, this is going to be a beginner's guide whether you've done it before looking through this video you're going to know how to smartly install the drip irrigation system the accessory you saw earlier is the n car um, i'm going to demonstrate what is useful um this is the lay flat connectors with valve you know there are two the two types of lay flat connectors they the ones without valve um there are ones with valve this is the part this particular one is the one with valve you know um i like using the one with valve because it gives me absolute control of what enters into my tape um, when i turn it on when i turn it off what goes where when i want what to go to where i want it to go to yeah i know that's too much english but you know that's that gives me control so that's why i insist on the lay club lay, um, the lay flat connector that has valve you know this is the joiner you use the joiner to join two drip tapes maybe one cough maybe there is an injury to the drip tape or whatever you know you can use the joiners to join it that is the punch um i will be demonstrating what is used for two that the punch is you to open the lay flat uh, before you now connect uh put your connectors to it um, that's that's basically what the punch is used for you know so we're going to be showing how it's done um, this is me using the punch to punch through the lay flat uh, so there are also two types of lay flats um yeah i will be showing that lay flat th this particular one is called the reinforced lay flat this is more stronger uh, it's thicker and it's also a bit more expensive than the other lay flats you know the ordinary lay flat which is black the reinforced is white in color so the, you 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 take out the to install yeah you take out the lay flat connectors with um you just remove the lay flat then you on screw there is a screw at the bottom there are two screws there there is one that is screwed at the bottom which has a hook a kind of a hook uh, so you unscrew it is the one you're going to put inside the lay flat you know as, as i'm putting it here um the, this video has an issue so i'm going to show yeah this is okay this is me trying to demonstrate correctly and then easily so that everybody can easily understand so i've just punched through the lay flat and then i am unscrewing the connector you know the bottom of it this part has a screw and it has a pin you know so you just unscrew it if you unscrew it you put it inside the lay flat you know just uh, just drag it to the point where you you punched with the punch yeah and then you just try to force the mouth out <clears throat> you know exactly this way that is demonstrated here in this video you just punch it out make sure that the mouth is out and then you screw back you know you just screw back the yes just like it's being screwed here you just screw it back okay. now you've connected your lay flat connector to the lay flat you know this is the lay flat connector with valve you connected it to the lay flat but you know what i do mainly is the moment i connect my lay flat connector uh my um i turn i turn it off i mean i i on i off the valve yeah so that if there is water going through or anything i'm going to be the one to determine when water goes into the valve now after is after screw anything and then tightening making sure it's very tight air tight as, as tight as possible you have to you know make sure it's tight as possible because so that water wouldn't leak from there then you put you connect your drip tape to that and screw you know you could see how we did it earlier just connect your drip tape to it and then you screw and um, what we're just connecting now is the joiner now this joiner in case there is a split you must not necessarily um do it if you're doing a massive project like we do we buy maybe one or two packs of it in case of an injury in case of a mistake you know when you screw it at the end of it that's when you put the end cap at the end of your drip tape you know when you cut the end of it that's when you put your drip tape your end cap you know by the name you know the name says end cap so you know that's where you cap it the end cap so this is practically us installing the yes this is us practically installing the you know drip tapes um that, that's one of my men you know putting the end cap to it and then dragging it along the bed you know so we we use it raised beds yeah so yeah so we'll drag it along the bed and then when he has gotten to the end of the bed you know we we'll cut at that end and then you 
you yes you should just you know open it up and push it into the valve into the connector and valve you know we cut off the xx because we don't want um we want all the dripping dripping points to be on the bed so we want to have as many dripping points as possible on the bed you know at, at this point it's also important to note that there are different types of um drip tips yeah um there, there are types based on the sizes um that's the, the dripping sizes or the dripping um spaces you know there are there are the 30 cm in our path so the dripping points are 30 cm and um, 30 cm path there is 50 cm so path there is 40 cm path then depending on what you are planting um okay this, this is this one of the installations we've already done so depending on what you are planting yeah you decide what you're going to use if if you're planting cucumbers which is actually a specialty you know cucumbers 30 cm because they are you know they have trellis they're going to climb up so you use um, the 30 cm if you're doing pepper pepper, tomato, yeah. you know, okra, you should use um, um, eggplants, you should use the 50 cm. So depending on the plants, you're, what you're planting, you know, that's when you decide what you're going to use. There are also different types of um, of the dripping points, except so there, there is double limiter and there is single limiter, you know. So uh, I, I usually like the double limiter because it, it saves me time in watering. Um, when we want to water, it, 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 where a single emitter water takes up to 30 minutes to water. Uh, double emitter does that in 15 minutes, you know. But the thing is, you have to also be sure of your water source. You know, how strong is your water source? How, you know, fast is your water coming through? So you, you need to also put all of that into consideration. But mainly, I, I like the double emitter because, you know, it saves us time in watering. So this is, you know, we, uh, yes, our cucumber farm um, is just coming up. There yeah, we used drip irrigations. You could see the the lay flat this is an enforced lay flat now you know you could also see the you know drips running along the beds you know um yeah so we've also, we also installed um the trellis net i think in another video i'm going to do i'm going to show us how to install the trellis net quickly you know it's it saves time and all but let's let's focus on the drip irrigation system so yeah this is what we used um here yeah, we we the dry seasons you know so we and they, if it's cucumber you're doing you know they need a lot of water so you must make sure you water every other day so whether it's wet season whether it's dry season we water uh, cucumbers we make sure that they are you know that the soil is really moist so as to give us a bountiful harvest our, our cucumbers are really good yeah oh, i think i should maybe in another video we're going to do i'm going to show us you know where we're harvesting our cucumbers and then the kind of harvest we get from our cucumbers yeah so yeah this is the excellence of using drip irrigations you know um especially drip irrigations there are the irrigation system but i i really love the drip irrigation system because it, it, it drips at um the point i planted right at that planting point that's when it, so there is water efficiency you know there is um water is not spraying everywhere you know on on unlike the spray tip so i, I like the drip tip it, it, you know the specific the the efficiency of water is you know you know there is you know you are maximizing your water output you're making sure that the plants get the water where you want it to get it you, you know and then you are not wasting anything there is the weeds it controls you know it also helps in controlling weeds right because the weeds are not you are starving the weeds of water especially the weeds in the farrow they are not going to get water so this is practically how we install our drips in the farm and it's really quick it's really smart it's really fast you are not really wasting time you could do we, we uh with this pace the pace we use we could do up to um maybe two plus to three plus a, a, a day so thank you guys um if you enjoyed this video subscribe to our channel and like our videos you can engage us you know on the comment section um ask us any question you want uh, any clarification you know we're always available to clarify anything for you you know I, I hope you enjoyed this video really um and i hope you can now go ahead and install your drip irrigation systems thank you